<laughs> oh, that's so cool. I like the suede wheel. Dude, that that head unit, or no, the, the yeah, dash. Yeah, that's really custom nice. Custom dash. Yeah, man, that is really nice. That's nuts. Take Thing. the motor, put all of it on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> So this is this is printed. Yeah. This is printed. Okay. Where else is like a secret print? Oh, the the, the filler. Oh, it's wait, not even a filler. See the bases for the wing here. Yep. The trunk slopes, right? Right. So rather than square bases, <laughs> they're yeah. tapered. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can yeah, see yeah. how they're like That's all four corners are different heights. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> cool. 3D printed. Yep. 3D printed. Cabo fiber. Cabo fiber. Cabo fiber. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Did APR custom make this for the car? Or is this... No, this is a GTC 200. Oh, okay, okay. We built the wing standoff. We, the wing and the splitter and the diffuser are all subject to change during testing. Right, spec wing for the series, or are you going to do like a... Uh... Right now, you'll be able to run the NASA during with it. Right. Um, when we do our own spec series, you'll have to run our car the way we sell it. Right. So between now and when we go from founder edition car to production car, Yeah. Those things can change, or right? Learn. Does the Founder Edition also run in the series? Like, does is this a matter? Founder Edition can be run just in the regular with gas cars, right? And then we'll take all the data from the Founder Edition cars, right? Put that in a production car, and then all the founders get all the hardware and software required to make their cars. Sick. Production. So everything here is pretty custom. They've got a custom trans tunnel. Well, it's not really a trans anymore. This is part of the battery pack. So the battery pack goes from the cabin, tees off there from. The uh, engine bay uh, goes in the back here. Cage is made by FDF. Super close to the pillars here. Really nice work. Power steering is still factory. Got a couple of screens here. I believe you said both of these are running off of a Raspberry Pi, which is super cool. All the safety stuff, Lifeline Fire. Dude, it's got like branded harnesses. I've never heard of them before, but man, do they make good products. Safecraft? What, Safecraft is the company? Mm -hmm. Very cool, shout out Safecraft. Yeah, they, um, they surprised us by showing up with this. That wasn't part of your, your plan, yeah, eh? Yeah. Wow. That's dope. When do you think people are gonna get into one of these? Like, what's the timeline? So we'll have the first one out on track in January. Uh, we hope to have the founder cars start to be delivered in May, and then it's going to be largely supply chain dependent on how quickly we can deliver all 10. Right, so that's 10 founder cars, not all for the series yet? So the 10 founder cars will hopefully all run in the NASA series. we put an application process on the website so that people can tell us what they want to do with them. Yeah. Because if somebody wants to go flog on this car in some unique way that we haven't thought about right now, we're very interested in that. Yeah. Like, so when you say NASA series, that's the spec series for this car, oh, or? the Super Touring series. They're, they're builder series. Right. When they class based on power to weight. Yes, modifiers. right. The spec sheet is impressive, but what are you most excited about for people who are gonna be driving this car? Oh, not working on it. Actually driving it. <laughs> and how <laughs> the driver? The, <laughs> um, the goal here is to make a car that is the most analog experience despite being electric. You know, we'll all miss the manual transmission thing, but it's just not a thing in an electric car. Yeah. It doesn't need to be. It allows you to focus on the other parts of your racecraft rather than your rev matching. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's gonna be exciting. You had the GR86 prior to this. You took it to the track. Yeah. What parts of that car did you want to keep when you were building the scaler car? I mean, for how well that car, but runs around the track, which is super fun. Yeah. Uh, there's really nothing left of it in that sense, as far as uh, the weight distribution is totally different, the, where it's gonna grip is different, yeah. the way it's gonna slide is different. The real reason we wanted the GR86 was, it's, it's an amazing chassis, it's got all the strength we need yeah. to take, you know, the people that LS it all the time, and it's got lots of strength. It's a great supporting aftermarket, all our suspension pickups are in the normal place. And so all is the building suspension for this, but you can build your own, the diff, the axles, it's a great chassis to start building. Very cool. Alright, thank you. Yeah. Alright, now we gotta film it. Now we gotta film it. What's, what's your spiel? This is Patrick, here today we're checking out the new scale of performance, uh, not the ER86 electric car. <laughs> As you can see from the exterior, we got the tail lines, we got the side, we got the wheels, we got the exterior, we got the seats, we got everything you need 
from a car. And best of all, it's electric, okay? Electric. It looks just like my daily. It looks just like the car I take to the racetrack, but it's electric, okay? Hey, so is that, this car electric? It's 100% electric. Wow. Yeah. Does that mean it runs on electricity? Of course. Wow. It is stored between you and the passenger seat. Guys, my name is Patrick. Follow, like, and uh, discuss. Forget it. <laughs>